Hello guys, I'm Sonia, we're back here again. So today's video is going to be very exciting. I am very excited, so you guys must be exciting as well. So my dad came to visit us from Beijing, uh, and he brought us a telescope, which I'm going to unbox today. So here it is. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, it's so big, right? It's like, it's almost my height, right? It's almost my height. So let's open this. Take my knife and just put it down. Okay. Oh, wait. guide so I, th I think this is like the English version of the in instruction guide and this should be the original one and this one is the Chinese version because I my dad bought this from a Chinese online shopping mall so um but the brand is actually from America which is called the Celestrum okay tripod and the fork I guess I, I forgot what this was called I, I forgot what this was called but let's figure it out from the instruction guide so I'll just put this aside oh this is super heavy wow this is amazing Let me just adjust this thing. Okay, it's tightened. Okay, let's just set this aside and... Okay, so... Let's see, there are so many things in the box. Like, I don't know what to do with this because it's my first time ever um, seeing an actual telescope myself. So, let's see. And there are a lot of cables right here. Like, um, I'll just figure it out later. <laughs> so this is the eyepiece. So uh, there are two eyepieces in total in the box. One is nine millimeter, and another one is twenty-five millimeter. Yeah. Um, this is the cable again. Oh, uh, that's the um, starlight thing I forgot, but I'll check this out later. Oh, and this one. And we also have a... Hmm. I don't know what this is called. Uh, you know what, guys? I'll just, like, um, read over the user guide and come back to you guys later. So I just opened this English instruction guide since the video is in English and the Chinese one I'll just read it over later by myself. So in the package there are two CDs. One is um, multi-language owners manuals product registration information and it contains the information for my telescope and another one is a next star observer list and next star is the model name of my telescope so yeah just keep that in mind and there are some qr codes that i can scan to download an app and this is the actual um quick guide to how to operate this telescope so let's go over this together and we'll try to figure out how to um, put things together, I guess. And this is the manual guide. Um, it, it contains information such as what is telescope and and how to observe planets and star constellations. So I'll just um, read this over later. Mm. 
that's pretty much it. And the last thing here is the observer list. So if you have an old version of your telescope from Celestron, then you must uninstall it prior to installing this new version. So just keep that in mind if you have an old version of your telescope. But um, obviously this is my first time, so I don't have to uninstall anything. I'll just have to install a new one. Okay, um, there's a driver, screwdriver here. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing inside the box, but... And here's the um, remote control, right? This is a remote control to... Um, it helps you to observe stars and planets. And this is part of the telescope, so this is very... It comes really handy when you try to observe the stars and planets. There are a lot of control keys in here like solar system stars, deep sky. Whoa, well, that's super cool, right? Hmm. Okay. And here is the 90 degree diagonal um, mirror. So let's open this together. This is a mirror. So I'll use this later to set up my telescope. Um, and inside a box, we have another box. We have another box. Oh, I believe this is the um, actual optical lens. And plus guys, um, this is my first time ever filming a, a YouTube video without any script in my head. So uh, everything that I spit out from my mouth is in, impromptu. Like I just say it straight out from my brain. So my English might be bad, but just please forgive me. Well, this is actually very heavy. It's quite um, short compared to other telescopes that I've been researching on. So just keep that in mind that this telescope that, that my dad brought for me is neither reflector or refractor. So this is the combination of reflector and refractor telescope. So uh, which means it uses mirrors and lenses um, inside this to function. So let's just put this aside as well. <laughs> And now we're going to go over this quick guide, which will help us put things together. So first, step one, your next door includes optical tube, which is this one, optical tube. Um, fork arm, I believe fork arm is this one right here. And pre-assembled tripod, tripod here, and the computerized hand control, which is the remote control that I showed you before. Uh, oh wait, where is it? Yeah, uh, here it is the computerized hand control and hand control holder. Hand control holder? What? What is hand control holder? Um, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> We're just going to go over the checklist to see if we have everything in here. So, the star diagonal is this is the star diagonal. Mm. I've never seen this before. It's really cool. So star diagonal. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Uh, two eyepieces, which is these right here. And fingers, f finder scope, finder scope. Finder scope. Oh, finder scope might be this one right here. And accessory tray. This one, I believe. Accessory tray and documentation, including an owner's manual, which is the manual that I've shown you guys, the English version, not the Chinese one, right here. Um, the Sky CD and NSOL telescope control software, which are these CDs right here. 
And step two, assemble tripod by spreading the legs out until the center leg brace is fully extended. Okay, so I just spread the tripod until the center leg brace is fully extended. Yes. Step three, mm, extend tripod legs six to eight inches by loosening the tripod leg locking knob and pulling the leg to desired length and retightening knob. Yeah, I, I think I've done that already. I just tighten these knobs and just adjust the length. Step four, all three legs should be the same length to provide a level, level platform for the Tesco. A bubble level is included in set to assist in level. Okay. So all three legs should be the same length. Yes, it's the same length. And let's get on to step five then. Place accessory tray on top of center leg brace by lining up the grooves on the tray to the post on the brace. Does that mean we have to... Oh, nothing. So I'll just put this here. Oh, so you just have to turn this. Oh, I see. Okay, that's all set. Step seven, hold the Tesco fork arm and place the bottom of the base inside the tripod mounting platform as shown. I think they've already done for you. I mean, it's all set. So, just get on to step eight then. Thread the coupling screw into the hole at the bottom of the fork arm base. Tighten screw to secure the fork arm. Yes, tighten it, guys. You have to tighten this so that it doesn't move around. And step nine, slide the optical tube dovetail into the fork arm as shown above. Okay, so this is the exciting part. We just have to get our optical tube and um, insert this into the fork arm as shown here. So. Let's do this. Do we, um, wow, this is really heavy. So guys, it took me a while to slide this, uh, slide the optical tube into the fork arm. So uh, I'm back again still, and we're just going to proceed with the step-by-step -step guide. Number 10, secure optical tube to fork arm by tightening the screws located on the inside of the fork arm assembly. And yeah, I did that already. You just have to screw this, screw this thing. You just have to tighten the screw so that the tube doesn't fall out. And number 11, to attach the fin finder scope, uh, loosen the silver screw and slide finder scope into mounting platform. Finder scope. Oh, I thought this was the, uh, I thought this was the uh, star diagonal, but it's actually called the finder scope. So just attach this here. You see right here. So you have to unscrew this so that it slides through smoothly. And screw this tightly. Yeah, we're set. Um, and number 12. Uh, secure finder scope to mounting platform by tightening the silver screw. The silver screw, um, I already did that. The glass window of the fin finder scope. I always call this finder scope. I don't know why. I just, it makes me think of the kinder scope. <laughs> ah, just forget it. A finder scope should be facing towards the front of the telescope. So the glass window should be facing towards the front of the Tesco. Just to make sure, um, this is the front of the Tesco. Uh, this is where the eyepiece will going to be attached. And number 13, insert the chrome barrel of the star diagonal into the focuser and tighten the two silver screws to secure in place. Um, chrome barrel. Chrome barrel. This is the chrome barrel of the star diagonal. And put this into the focuser. Focuser. We oh, open the cap and tighten this. 
Oh yeah, open this cap as well. Oh. Just remember that you always unscrew the uh, silver screws before you try to put this in because it will get on your way and it's going to be impossible to put this in. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And then mm, step, step 14. Select the low power 25 millimeter eyepiece. 25 millimeter, yeah, 25 millimeter eyepiece. Um, and insert it as shown above. Tighten silver screw to secure. So let's get this out from the box and the plastic wrap. Insert it here. And also something very interesting is that um, the lower the number of the eyepiece, the larger the magnifi magnification of the telescope. So this is the lower, low power eyepiece. And we, they also sent us the 9mm eye, uh, mm uh, eyepiece, so this, is, this magnifies more than this one. Okay, and screw this in again. Okay, so step 15. Attach plastic hand control holder to this tripod leg. So this is the plastic uh, hand control holder. So it's already attached to the leg. <laughs> we don't have to do anything about it. And step 16, slide computerized hand control into the hand control holder as shown above. Oh yeah. So here's the computerized hand control. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, so this has to be on this side rather than this side. Because this is the holder, the hand control holder. So put this here. And step 17, plug computerized hand control into the hand control port on the forearm. How about we unscrew this and Yeah, it's easier to unscrew this and then move this around. So I'll show you guys. Just um plug this into the hand control plug in. Yeah, and step 18, before you begin viewing, please remember to remove tube lens cap. Yes, of course, we have to move this cap. Yeah, we all do this, right? Mm. And step 19, while observing, tube should be positioned as shown above. So... So while observing, it should be like this, like this, yeah, I think I did it correctly, right? And on um, step 20, before you can use your telescope, you, you must insert 8 AA batteries. So step 21 says that you have to place AA batteries inside the battery compartment located at the base of the fork arm. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, you have to place batteries inside this holder. Oh, so you need to get a new one. <laughs> you have to get a new one. <laughs> I thought they provided us some batteries so that we can put at, put that into the telescope, but <laughs> my bad. Of course, they. <sighs> who will give an extra battery to you? I mean. Okay, I'll just get some batteries and come back to you guys later. Okay guys, we got the battery, so I'll just put these inside the holder. <laughs> okay. So, so we need eight. One, two, three, four. I'll just put four first and then the other four later. So this part should be the plus sign, the positive sign. Okay, it perfectly fits in there. And yep, yeah, just repeat that process 
you guys all know how to put batteries in in like digital devices, right? Everyone knows that. I don't have to teach you guys that. Okay, four more, and then we're done. It's like double sided. The holder is super cool. <laughs> it sure needs a lot of batteries. Okay, and then we put the cap on. Yay! I think we're done. Right? Yeah, we're done, I think. Because that was the, the last step we had to do. And the other one is just the um, hand control guy that... Um, this one I'm going to do later because uh, obviously it's in... We cannot observe stars during the day, so... I'll get back to you guys later uh, when we can observe the night sky. But first, I'll just um, show you guys the, the uh, finished product of the telescope. Oh, it's huge. It's super huge. Whoa. I can assure you guys this video is like reality. It's um, I've never prepared a script for this video, so it's all impromptu. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing process. Um, just to um, show you guys the uh, exciting part of this telescope, um, when it gets to nighttime, I'll get back to you guys later to show um, my observation of the night sky, of the star tele uh, constellation, and and probably planets if we are lucky. So I'll get back to you guys later. Bye!